I work full time in IT and media and communications. Two big bags of groceries. Unproductive <laughs> when it's super crappy outside. This is like the weirdest work week slash week in my life. Also, I got all of that. I have introed this video or attempted to intro this video approximately three times now and apparently I can't speak this morning So happy Monday coffee Anyways, what I was trying to say twice before is that it is Monday today is Memorial Day I unfortunately have to work today, which is not like my favorite thing I really don't enjoy working holidays just because I feel like I get a lot of FOMO with just knowing like my friends are doing stuff and my boyfriend's doing stuff and my family's doing stuff and I have to work and sit behind a desk all day is not like the best feeling and I don't know when all my team really enjoys it so we're all just kind of in this together but it's definitely something that I'm keeping into account for my next job I definitely don't want to do shift work at my next job whenever that is like years in the future I'm not saying I'm looking for a job I'm just saying that's a uh, something that I'm noting in my head for future reference but anyways what is up welcome back I'm starting a week in my life vlog you guys seem to really enjoy when I do week in my life vlogs it's just hard for me because it's easier to do day in my life vlogs because then I can pump out the content more but I did record videos ahead of time for this week so I can do a week in my life so welcome to a week in my life in New York City if you you guys are new around here i'm 24 i'm based in new york city i do lifestyle content so hella vlogs i do some beauty content fashion content i am a part-time mba student so i'm getting my graduate degree from the college of william and mary it's 100 online so it's not like an in-person program obviously because i'm based out in new york city i work full-time why do i have a hard time seeing that i work full-time in it and media and communications kind of a mix of all three of those what else can I say and obviously I do YouTube I do a lot of things I like to keep myself busy clearly but if you guys are new around here you should stick around and subscribe down below big subscribe button if you are not new you should hit the bell notification so that you guys can be notified every time that I post you can be the first ones to watch my video first ones to comment ready to jumpstart this week I have a lot to accomplish I think that that might be a lie I don't really have any plans this week but I do have to prep for grad school and I do want to plan out some things to give me something to look forward to so <laughs> that's gonna be what's on the agenda today I'm just gonna try to keep myself busy because I am like in a funky, a bit of a funky mood just because it's sad that, you know, it's sad when everyone has work off and you're the, you feel like you're the only one working and so you see everyone else having fun and living their best life on a Monday and you are stuck behind a desk. That does suck, I'm not gonna lie. So we're gonna try to stay off of social media today and I'm just gonna try to like keep myself busy and cheer myself up until 5 p.m. So there we have it sorry i have been m.i.a literally all day i've honestly been in such a weird mood and i know for a fact it has to do with the weather it's just been so rainy in new york for the past like three four days and today it's not even rainy it's just gloomy and it was supposed to be sunny today but there's no sun and so i know that it just is directly affecting my mood which i need to like not let happen but here we are anyways my point for picking up the camera is i just went to Target and got two big bags of groceries. Honestly, I didn't even end up getting all the groceries that I needed. I was gonna go to Trader Joe's, but the line is down the block, and I should have thought of that because it's Memorial Day, so people probably like want to do errands and catch up on stuff since the weather isn't that nice. But if for some reason, I thought that they would be like out partying or something, and the lines and the grocery stores would be empty, but they weren't. So I ended up going to Target just to get the things that I need until I can go to Trader Joe's or order something from Amazon Fresh because. Target can get expensive really, really fast, and you never walk out of Target with only the things that you need. So I think that's also why it gets expensive really fast. So I just grabbed some of the essentials that I knew that I could use for the next two days until I am able to go to the grocery store or order new groceries or something. So I figured I'd do a little haul. I feel like I end up doing grocery hauls in pretty much every single video that I do nowadays, but that's just a huge part of my routine, I guess, as an adult is going to the grocery store. So the essentials that I grabbed first, eggs. I just get organic, large, brown, fresh eggs, and I always make sure they're cage-free because I've heard that those are 
the best for you. Also, just humane, I think, to like leave chickens out of cages. Got some Frosted Flakes. Been a big cereal gal lately. Don't ask me why. I just, I just am. Paper towels, because I'm pretty sure I'm almost out of them. That's not exciting at all. Next bag, this one's heavy. Next bag, I got everything bagels for breakfast sandwiches. I got a new multivitamin for women that I want to try. It's the Care Of brand. Care Of is a huge brand that does a lot of sponsorships with a lot of people on YouTube, but typically they do the ones where you take the quiz online and then they send you the individual daily packs of like whatever vitamin supplements you need based on the quiz that you take. But they just started selling bottles of different types of their vitamins that they have been distributing in those packages. So they have one for like sleep, they have one for health, hair, whatever. So I wanted to try their multivitamin for women. I take multivitamin gummies every single day. But I just wanna like try out a new brand. I've been taking those gummies for a while and I don't know if they actually really do anything. So trying this one, I have tried the care of melatonin sleep pills and they actually really work. They like fully knock you out. So excited to try this out. I got some pretzels. I'm gonna try the, whoa, I just fricked up this hummus. I'm gonna try the Target brand of hummus, but it's all messed up now because I had it on its side. It's Sabra, Sabra, roasted garlic hummus. So we're gonna try that after I just literally destroyed it. New dry shampoo, hair gets greasy fast. And then a big bag of frozen fruit for smoothies because I ran out of it. This has blackberries, blueberries, and red raspberries in it. And then I always put banana, peanut butter, spinach, and almond milk, so ran out of that. That's my little Target haul, like I said. I need to place a larger grocery order later because I'm out of, my fridge is literally empty and I'm out of so many things, but Target just gets expensive fast. So I just grabbed the essentials since I was out anyways. I'm the worst vlogger ever. Happy Tuesday, everyone. I didn't record literally at all today, but I have a little focus on me. I have a good reason for it, I promise. I was co-working, co-working. I spent the night in Brooklyn last night with my boyfriend, and then I just worked at his place during the day, and I always get like uncomfortable vlogging like in his apartment when we're doing stuff so i didn't vlog all day just because i spent the whole day there but obviously now i'm back in my apartment i am making some dinner i'm making beef tacos hello fresh obviously it's the only thing i eat so sorry if you hear like a million noises i have the stove going i have the air conditioner going i have the fan going there's a lot of stuff happening and now the timer's going off so that's good Anyways, like I was saying, I'm obviously back cooking and I think I'm going to spend the night. I need to get a shower after I eat because I feel very gross, but I think I'm going to spend the night doing some homework. Today was like extremely hectic at work and I didn't have time to do anything else today like I normally do, which is bittersweet. So I have some homework that I need to do because I haven't didn't do anything at all yesterday for homework wise and I didn't do anything at all today. So I'm now two days behind on homework and I have stuff that's due Thursday, so I just want to like catch up on everything. I'll probably lay in bed and watch Hulu. I figured I owed you guys an explanation as to why Tuesday has no content when this is a week in my life. It's just because I didn't vlog at all because I was with people all day. So that's that's the reasoning. It's not a good reason, but it's a reason. Yeah, what else can I say? I have been a Yeti girl in the past, but I may now be a Hydro Flask gal. I hate to say it. I am obsessed with this water bottle. It's allowing me to drink a lot more water, which is why I bought it. I was hoping that it would do that. And so it's like the perfect thing for me and I want one in another color as well. So maybe in the future. But if you were a Yeti person like me and you've never tried Hydro Flask, try Hydro Flask because it may change the game for you like it did for me. Very obsessed with this water bottle and it's just a very simple water bottle. I think it's just the ease of the way the water flows out of the lid and also it's easy to hold. You guys are probably like, I literally don't care and I'm just ranting about my hydro flask, so I'll stop now. Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. Uh, I have so much work to do today and I'm, I'm just dreading it. I have to do a lot of lectures, I need to 
dropped a lot of things for school. I have work work stuff that I need to get done. Luckily, I don't have too much apartment stuff to do because I woke up at like 7.30 this morning, 7.45 and like did dishes and stuff and kind of cleaned up a bit and just kind of like prepared myself for success today. But I do have a lot of schoolwork to do because I just didn't do any of it. I haven't done any of it all week and it's Wednesday, so that is not good. But luckily this week, it's nothing. We don't have any like group projects that we have to work on. It's all individual work, so it's not like I have to schedule my time like around other people this week which is really nice but I have been fully slacking some of these weeks are just like this this is like a very real realistic week of my life not every week is super productive and I'm not on top of my stuff every single week this this is one of these weeks and I think that I keep blaming it on the weather but I'm just going to continue to blame it on the weather I think that it has a lot to do with the weather because I just feel extremely like unmotivated and <laughs> unproductive when it's super crappy outside Versus when it's sunny outside, I can like go sit on my roof and get work done or I can go sit at a cafe and get work done or I can go for a walk and get some vitamin D and then I'll charge me up to come and want to do work. And I haven't been able to do that because it's been so crappy. So I'm just going to continue blaming it on the weather and the fact that Mercury is in fact in retrograde until someone tells me to stop. I uploaded a video this morning. I'm watching it over to make sure that it looks good. I did a meeting for work already. It's 9.20 a.m. and I had a meeting at 9 a.m bright and early right as I logged on and then I just set up my desk and yeah that's kind of the current situation I'm hoping today flies by because I am already over work and I just started and I'm already over school and I haven't even started that yet so anyways we need to be more positive I need to be more positive today that's what I need to do happy Wednesday happy hump day don't even know if people say that anymore but maybe we should bring it back I have no thoughts Mind blank. No more thoughts. It is currently 2.30 p.m. And I have been so sucked into work that I haven't even had time to do anything else, which is not bad. But I also have been had to, I haven't even had time to eat. I haven't had a second coffee today, which is probably a good thing because Lord knows I don't need it. But I haven't had time to do schoolwork at all today. I have no more thoughts left to think. I also just don't even want to like... No more thoughts. I, I told you I came form sentences at the moment. This is so sad. But anyways, I figured I'd give you guys an update because I, this is like the weirdest work week slash week in my life vlog ever. I'm also off on Friday, so this is only going to go one more day and I just feel like I'm not, I don't even know if I'm going to use this content because I literally feel like this is the weirdest week in my life vlog that I've ever created. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, like sometimes you guys like the weird and this is obviously just practical and normal life and things come up and things get hectic. And I don't even know what I'm going on a rant about right now. I'm basically going on a rant about how I don't know if I can use this content, but here we are. So work has been so hectic today. Like I said, it's 2.30. I'm actually thinking I'm going to take my lunch break in like 10 minutes and go sit at a cafe. I just need to get out of my apartment, remove myself from this space, clear my head, and then do schoolwork. Like I said, I'm, I just my brain feels like mush right now, but I put off my schoolwork for so long that I can't not do it. Like I can't give myself this day to not do it because I have stuff due tomorrow. So I did that to myself. I put myself in a bad position. I wanted to give you guys an update because that's my life this week. Just chaotic, a mess, all over the place. Not cute. Not a cute look. Cause it's so, so new, but you've been so patient and I appreciate it. Wish I didn't get like this. coffee shop and drink coffee and do homework simply did not happen because I got all the way there and it's keep in mind it's cloudy today it's like 70s maybe in the 60s it's cloudy there's no sun it looks like it's gonna rain so my thought process was that like you know cafes aren't gonna be that busy there'll be a lot of seating the cafe that I was going to doesn't have a lot of indoor seating it's mainly outdoor seating and even then there's only like four tables and so I walk all the way to the cafe that I was gonna study at and it's packed. Every seat's full of people. I mean, I guess people just really want to get coffee at like 2.30 p.m. on a Wednesday. I don't know, so I wasn't able to sit down and do work, and then I was like, okay, I'll look up another coffee shop that's close by. So I look up another coffee shop that's close by, and 9th Street Espresso, and I was like, okay, I'll go get a coffee there and sit down, and then I get there and I realize that they don't have any seating. Like, there's no tables, no chairs, 
nothing. I already went to one coffee shop and it didn't turn out. I don't want to go to a second one and not get coffee, so I just got coffee and I went and sat in the park for a little bit. And yes, it was nice to get fresh air, but now I'm just even more behind on homework. So to procrastinate even more, I just got an Amazon box in the mail and we're gonna do a little unboxing. Also, I got woofed at. Like I was walking to the first coffee shop and someone woofed at me. Not a dog. The dog did not bark. It was a human. And the man said woof, like W-O-O-F, which was the first. Normally I walk around the city with my headphones so that my headphones were also dead. I'm just taking a lot of L's today. My headphones were also dead, so I didn't have headphones in, which is sometimes nice because you can hear all the city noises, but then you can also hear things like creepy men woofing at you. So, bittersweet not wearing the headphones around the city. This is not an exciting package, but figured I'd share. There's a lot of plastic in here. First thing I got were this, another box. Wow. I got these glass straws from Amazon. Wow, these are gorgeous. I needed some more straws because I run out of them so fast because I drink like two coffees a day. You guys already know this. And I wanted some really aesthetically pleasing ones. So I got a bunch of glass straws. I think there are four of them in this pack. And they weren't that expensive. They were obviously from Amazon because this is an Amazon package. So I'm excited to start using those. I got a bunch of chip clips because I need them. There's no explanation for that one. I always just throw my chips in my cabinet and like roll them and just hope that they don't go stale. So I figured I should level up and get some chip clips so they definitely don't go stale. So I, this came with a lot. I thought it was only gonna come with like four. But now I have seven chip clips, all different colors. And last but not least, oh, she's a big guy. I thought I ordered the little one. They mean business about these creamers or sweeteners. Damn, this is big and she's heavy. I got a new coffee creamer because I'm almost out of my vanilla and then I would only have hazelnut left. And so I just needed to buy a new sweetener but i thought it was gonna be a small bottle and this is definitely not a small bottle i bought the torani bourbon caramel i've tried bourbon vanilla before and i really like bourbon vanilla and so i saw on their website that they had bourbon caramel torani actually has their own website where you can buy the syrups directly off the website but i think there's like a minimum for shipping or something but they also sell these syrups on amazon so i just opted for amazon since i was already getting the straws and the chip clips anyways so I got bourbon caramel syrup. I'm really excited to try this in my coffee tomorrow. If I had known this was coming in, I would have made a second coffee here instead of going out and getting one so I could try this, but I did not know this was here. So this is just something to look forward to. But it's big, I'm gonna have this for a while. So heavy. And that's my Amazon haul. <laughs> Thank you for coming to my concert. My sanity is officially out the door. Okay, post dance break. I no longer have my sanity today. I can thank work for that. It's gone, it's out the door, it flew out the window, ran down the fire escape, it's gone. No longer have my sanity, no longer have it. And I have a call at 5.30, so I need to get it together. And then I have to do schoolwork. So I do need to have a little bit of sanity, but luckily this schoolwork is not graded. It's just notes. So I don't need much of my sanity for that. Thursday everybody I am really tired today don't know why I really didn't sleep that well last night could have been the alcohol because I did have like a glass and a half I would say of wine and then we ended up watching the Knicks game at a sports bar that's near me so then I had a cider there and sometimes when I drink alcohol I just like I have a hard time sleeping after so I think that that might have been the contributing factor to why I didn't sleep that well so I made a coffee this morning I made a hot coffee Whoa, focus on me. I made a hot coffee. I don't typically do this, but I honestly wanted something that would last a little bit longer today that I could sip on while doing work because I have so much work to do. I said that yesterday, but I 
I really have like three things due today that I didn't do yesterday that I should have done yesterday for school and that was my own fault because I was procrastinating so hard. So I kind of set myself up for failure, but it's okay. We're gonna, we're gonna bounce back. We're just gonna grind today. So I made myself a hot coffee. This is the Colombe, Colombe, Colombe coffee pod. It's like pinkish purplish pod. I hadn't tried it yet, but I had two of them. So I figured I would give it a go. So hot coffee in this mug. This mug is from Crate and Barrel. My sister got these for me for my birthday I think a year ago and I love these cups but I couldn't ever use them with my other coffee machine because my other coffee machine would fill the mug up so high like literally the entire mug to the point where it was almost spilling over so I couldn't really use them with my other mug um my other coffee machine but now that I have this new coffee machine I can use them again and they're just so aesthetically pleasing so I am making the coffee now I'm just going to do a little bit of vanilla unsweetened almond milk my go-to thing and then I'm gonna try the bourbon caramel Tarani syrup that I got yesterday that I showed you guys. It smells really good. I'm so excited. It's perfect for lattes, iced coffees, and milkshakes. But we're gonna use this for hot coffee. She girl needs it. Okay. Just a little bit. I have a meeting in like four minutes. So that's why I'm keep looking at the clock. Stir. I hate the way that almond milk though looks in like hot coffee because it makes it look all like weird. Particle -y. Oh, it's so good. I'm gonna put a little bit more almond milk in it, but that's really good. I really like the syrup. It's very subtle. I only put like a little a little pour in. I should get the my boyfriend got me the pumps for these things, but I left them at my house in Virginia. I have like two of them, I think. So next time I go back to Virginia, I'll have to bring them back. But I have pumps for these big bottles because he bought them for me a while ago. And I just didn't think to bring them here, I guess. So, anyways, good morning everyone. Happy Thursday. Today's gonna be a Today's gonna be a long one. Day two of me drowning. Just girly things. <laughs> no, but for real, I'm literally gonna lose it. It's fine, everything's fine. I have been literally drowning at work for the past week. I'm taking my lunch break now because there are actually other people on shift with me and I can take my lunch break. I haven't decided if I wanna go for a walk or not yet. I don't know if it's gonna rain. Maybe not, the sky's kind of blue. But it did downpour this morning, so that's why I'm like, I don't know if it's supposed to rain later or not. I know that my boyfriend mentioned that it potentially is supposed to rain. Actually, no. I should probably check the weather. But while it's kind of sunny outside and nice, I might go for a walk just to get some fresh air because I've been cooped up in this apartment all day. I have a lot of energy. I'm not going to drink another coffee because I don't need it. I don't need it. Yeah, I think I'm going to try to get outside. Just figured I'd update you guys. It's been a really weird week in my life. Like, a very weird week in my life. This is definitely one for the books, and I don't even know if this vlog is going to end up going up because of how weird it's been, and I even have to see, like, what kind of clips that I have because I feel like I don't have that many or many that are exciting. But this is just a really real and authentic week in my life when it's, like, crazy and hectic and I'm not super productive and there's just a lot going on. So maybe it will go up and it'll just be, like, a realistic, weird, crazy week in my life. That'll be the title of it. There you go. You're sitting on my wine bottles, which is why that weird thing is at the bottom. Also, this is probably not the best place for it. I can see this ending badly, but I did decide that I'm going to go for a walk. And I just put on a podcast. Gals on the go, I think. Danielle and Brooke released a new podcast episode today because it's Wednesday. So I think I'm going to go outside, go for a walk, listen to them, and just get some vitamin D because I need it. I need the sun. The sun needs me and I need the sun right now. Just how I feel, convince myself it's real. You smile when I focus. This is the current setup watching vlogs and doing homework going to pause this for a second it's dark in my room because i'm exhausted and i'm tired of the lights for the day and i just wanted to set a cozy vibe so i lit a candle out there crawled into bed closed my curtains and put on a vlog and i'm doing schoolwork currently because i didn't have a chance to do it earlier today but i want to just go ahead and end off this vlog here because i think i'm going to start a brand new weekend vlog in my life tomorrow tomorrow's friday i actually have tomorrow off so i have a three-day weekend this weekend so i think i'm going to start a weekend in my life vlog just because this this week was weird and i just want to go ahead and end it we're ending it here so thank you guys so much for watching 
like I said, if this does go up, um, just know that every week is not super aesthetically pleasing or productive or put together. I am a normal person just like the rest of you and I have weird weeks where things just don't go as planned and are not productive and are all over the place. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed down below, don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you did in fact enjoy it, even though it was a mess. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. And I don't think that you notice.